Welcome to another video of The Secret Man. Just to let you guys know, I will not be on any social media except for YouTube until further notice and no questions asked. Now, what I'm going to get to is a thing that GameStop did to me. Now, you guys all know that GameStops are little turds, and I mean absolute wipes when it comes to pre-owned games, okay? I bought a game, and I have proof of it. Let's go to this. NCAA Basketball 10. I don't have it with me now. But I'm telling you what. Okay? There it is. Maybe you can't see it. Wow. Good job, iPad. Anyways, NCAA Basketball 10. I bought it about a month ago. It was very hard to come by for the Xbox 360 or PS3 for that matter. But I bought it for Xbox 360. I played it twice, okay? Bought it for 50 bucks, okay? You can, on eBay, it's like 70 or 80 bucks pre-owned and 100 bucks new. Might as well have done that, okay? So I decided, listen, I didn't really care for the game. It, it wasn't really as good as I thought it was. I didn't like it at first, but I played it twice, okay? And then the game, I just didn't care for it. Now, this says, and I'm a pro member at GameStop, it says... Pro trade credit value, $11. Pro cash value, which I did, $8.80. Now, I took, my, I took 13 games to GameStop. Everything else was okay. I was supposed to get about $50, according to the trade estimate. Oh, it was $47. Now, I'm just wondering, now, why was $3 taken off? You'll never guess what they took off. Maybe you are guessing. Here's the receipts. They took it off of NCAA Basketball 10. Why? It says, what is this? There it is right there. Refurbished service minus $3. Okay. Let me get something straight. You're already taking off over 80%. Do the math from $50 that I paid for the game to less than 10, that would be over 80%, right? You do the math. So, you took off $3 because of a refurbish that you have to do. Probably going to rub some lipstick on it, sell it for $50 to another sucker who's not going to return it within a month. And then you're not going to say, oh, well, blah, 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 the warranty clearly. I don't care. You mean to tell me that you're going to now take off 90%? You took off three little dollars. And the manager, you should have seen, okay, before I get to it. The manager was just, uh, okay, I was just asking her a question about my Xbox 360. She's just sitting there, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I look at the disc, mm -hmm, look at the next disc. Mm -hmm. Where did you tell me, oh, excuse me, sir, I'm going to have to take off three dogs. Now, did I make a mistake by not arguing? Yes, but then again, no. She's been a jerk to me before, and I was getting really ticked off at her, so I was like, you know, I'll check the receipt. It must have had a scratch on it that, they, that somebody else had put on it. Because I'm just wondering to myself, if you, if any computer person has a disc, right? If it has a scratch across it, that badly the GameStop is going to sit there and say, oh, I have to take off $3 for this? You mean to tell me it's worth it now? And the bad part is, like I said, she didn't even tell me. But I, I'm just wondering, is it that bad they, okay, I can give you five bucks for it. I mean, I realize it's only three dollars. Listen, when you work where I do, when you make the money that I do, three dollars, and I'm a kid at 19 years old, three dollars is hard to come by. So you may tell me that I'm going to give a game to you that I could sell on, e I, I could sell on eBay for 40 bucks. I'm tired of eBay because I was tired of the PayPal thing not paying me like it was supposed to. I've had some problems with that. I'll probably mention it in another video. You mean to tell me that I get five bucks and you took off three bucks because it had a little scratch on it? Really? Where in the, in the code of video games or in disc of that matter will you even accept a disc that has that that have a scratch on it? You, she took off, let's say, eight to five. That's about, mm, about 40%. 40% of the game used erased and didn't even tell me, really, GameStop? See, to me, this is out of hand because it comes to the bigger picture of GameStop. I told you, I bought the game for 50 bucks. You mean to tell me that I can get five 
buck five dollars from it because I apparently scratched it. You're already taking off 80% and you can't even give me eight bucks for a game I paid 50 bucks for. It has to go down to five. Really? I'm just wondering if I'm the only one. Maybe I'm overreacting. I'll, I know I come off that way. But is it really worth it to even take the game? Why, it, with a game from 2009 that is still 50 bucks, why, if it's that rare, would you only give me 5 bucks for it? Because apparently I scratched it. My sorry tail, because I didn't have a receipt up there. I just, mm, you know what? You scratched this. She didn't even tell me anything. She looked at this, and me, 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 oh, I'm missing tell. Are you really that bad of money? You're the only game store in America, besides Walmart or some other place that doesn't even specialize in that, and you're going to sit there and do that? Really? I, I'm tired of GameStop. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of the rewards program because you have to pay like 10 bucks in order to get like, you know, in order to get like a few points just to spend on some ranky dink thing that's going to break. I just, I'm tired of GameStop. And I'm tired of the people that are dishonest. Because if you... There's a little survey. Let me read you this before I go. Your feedback is extremely valuable to us. Complete our short customer survey within the next... Look at this. I have to fill it out within three days or I'm screwed anyways. And you could win one of, of you know, $2,500 gift cards. Visit www.tellgamestop.com. That's absolutely incredible. Within three days, I have to figure out if I'm not if I'm satisfied or not with this little trade credit. Well, I'm sure they're not going to care about anyways because it's only three bucks. But to me, this is stupid because it points to the bigger picture of how dishonest and how stupid and how just cheapskates these people are. It's ri it's ridiculous. And I'm telling you what, don't shop at GameStop no more. You think? Really? Yeah. Thanks for letting me know. Goodbye. Be on